by Jenny Peng Star Metro Vancouver choose May 1, 2018 Vancouver, if fuel prices in Vancouver keep up their record-breaking levels at $1.59 per litre for gas and $1.35 for diesel, industry leaders said it's only a matter of time before consumers are going to soak up the costs. Transportation and logistics company Pacific Coast Distribution based in Langley, B.C., with clients such as Safeway and Rona, are seeing a 25% increase in their expenses on fuel, their second biggest expense after workers' salaries. The company, which operates half of their 50-truck fleet on diesel in Alberta and B.C., has a contract agreement with Husky Energy and monitors the prices on a daily basis. The drivers know to fuel up outside of the city and, when possible, stock up in Kamloops or Sycamus. Chris Funk, operations manager, said the company bills their customers with a fuel surcharge based on the average prices it pumps across Canada. But having to operate in the lower mainland where Vancouver prices are so drastic and disproportionate means the company and contracted owner-operators must absorb the difference. Fuel companies want their money every week too. You pay up front with the fuel companies, and then you wait to get paid by everybody else. According to GasBuddy.com which collects data from gas stations across North America, the average Vancouver gas prices have increased 22% from a year ago at $1.30 per litre, and 2.5% from a month ago at $1.53 per litre. Funk oversees a 60,000-square-foot facility which shuttles everything from household appliances, to paint, to food. He explains that retailers aren't going to want to eat all the increases in transportation costs so at some point they'll pass that on to consumers, the people most affected are owners of their truck who are self-employed working on contracts, said Funk. Ed Wesner, an owner-operator for Pacific Coast Distribution, had been planning to replace his truck until the gas prices hit a ridiculous high. Having seen his fuel bill go from $3,000 every two weeks up to $5,000, he said he is watching the economy carefully to make his decision as to whether stay in the industry or not. The industry is so price-sensitive that high gas prices could put owners out of business, said Dave Earl, president of the BC Trucking Association. We do see smaller companies really struggle, sometimes operators suspend operations temporarily or until costs or rates come back in line, or go out of business altogether. Any price increases consumers have to absorb will be incremental, etc. He added that the industry is always looking for sustainable alternatives and methods to cut down on fuel such as changing tire types and reducing highway speed limits to improve efficiency. Jenny Pung is a Vancouver-based reporter covering business. Follow her on Twitter, at Jennapeng No Top Stories, delivered to your inbox, new N-E-W-S-L-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-A-D-L-I-N-E-S-S-I-G-N-Up.